Welcome to the Arts Page. I'm Sandy Max. Art 64, a plein air painting tournament, returned for another year to the village of Wauwatosa. The Arts Page was there to cover the inaugural tournament last year. It was a rousing success for everyone involved, local businesses, the city of Wauwatosa, and for the artists themselves. This year brought another field of 64 painters, all vying for the grand prize of $20,000. Last year's champion, Ben Otten of Oconomowoc, he returned to defend his title. Can he repeat as Art 64 champion, or will a newcomer be crowned? Let's take a look at Art 64 2023. On a Friday night in early June, artists gathered from all across the city, state, and country for a unique competitive experience. This event would push their creative boundaries and test their artistic skills. Welcome to year two of Art 64. Last year's event was extremely well received. The feedback we received from the people who attended the event and the artists themselves that participated last year was so tremendous that we knew this had to become an annual event. Here are the rules. The tournament is four rounds over two days. Each round has a theme and lasts 60 minutes. Artists compete in head-to-head matchups. After the round, audience members have half an hour to vote for which painting they liked most and who will move on. Round one, the theme, landscape slash streetscape. On Milwaukee's Molly Snyder was the MC of the event. So artists, are you ready? Here we go. Countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, paint! We'll kick off round one by visiting last year's Art 64 champion, Ben Otten from Oconomowoc. Here he is doing one of his signature watercolors. This is Nathan J. Taylor out of Rockford, Illinois, painting a vibrant sunflower field. This is his first year competing in Art 64. Another newcomer to this year's festivities is Josh Stout. Josh is from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Returning for year two of Art 64 is Wisconsin artist Robin Wallenfang. And here's contemporary artist Kevin Lavik from Chicago putting the finishing touches on his beautiful landscape. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's time to stop painting. And with round one over, attendees had half an hour to decide who moves on to Saturday morning and round two. Number 30, Jeff Austin. Ben Otten, once again, is heading to the next round. Having it done it last year, it actually gave me a little bit more, you know, relaxation coming into it, just knowing like the style and like what's expected and how the things go. Um, that being said, I do feel like there's a little bit of a target, um, you know, painted on the back. So people have been coming up and, you know, mentioning, hey, you're last year or you're Ben or something like that. So yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit more high profile, I guess. <laughs> Scotty. Scotty, Scott. Scott. First year competitor Melina Scott also made it to round two. So tomorrow it's tradition and I'm from Argentina. So I'm kind of thinking, I don't know, something with the flag or maybe soccer. <laughs> and, and, or maybe also about my roots that there are Native Americans but from the south of Argentina. So yeah, something about that. Friday night and round one is done. Artists that are moving on have a long day ahead of them, but for one artist, tomorrow may be life-changing. It's Saturday morning and 32 participants remain. Today, someone is going home $20,000 richer. 
It's going to be a long day for these artists. Three rounds over 10 hours is what lies ahead, and the weather was scorching hot. As they say in golf, moving day. Round two, the theme, culture. Ben Otten continues his hot streak, reaching round two of Art 64 for the second consecutive year. Ben's art is heavily inspired from growing up in Lake Country. Kevin Lavik is looking strong with a magnificent painting. Kevin's work often takes on the human condition. This is Lori Elke from Onalaska, Wisconsin. Lori is an art teacher teaching both children's and adult classes. Melina Scott is in her zone. She's following her game plan and painting a picture that represents her Argentinian heritage. We're down to 10 seconds now, painters, so here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Jane. Round two is over and 16 more artists are going home. It is time once again for the audience members to decide who moves on to round three? Ben Otten is having another great tournament, advancing to round three. Kevin Lavik and Lori Elke did as well. However, Melina Scott did not advance. Her tournament is over. She's not going home empty handed though. All artists got a stipend for each round they participated in. It's down to 16 artists. Two rounds to go in Art 64 2023. I'm Sandy Max. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more arts related stories.